everybody, welcome back to The Sims 4. Now, some of you wondered what exactly I was getting at in my last episode. And seriously, is that Uku? That is Uku. Um, not related to this character at all in this situation because I've put him in another safe world. However, um, yeah, this is not going to work for me. Right, okay. So... Here's the thing. You may have noticed that Uku went to the woods. After a lot of walking, he came along this place. This place is Willow Creek. Now, if we go and introduce ourselves to the neighbours and get away from Uku, who is, who is not supposed to be here. So, um, what uh, Archer actually recognises is that people are wearing fairly old-fashioned um, clothes and hairstyles. So, he's going to knock on the door. He's going to introduce himself to... Um, <laughs> All the characters in the houses, apart from perhaps three, have been downloaded off the gallery. Um, so he's going to knock on the door. Hello. Right, so yeah, you'll notice that it's a bit, a little bit old-fashioned and a little bit thin. Now, for those of you who don't know, about three or four years ago, I created a Sims challenge called the Decades Challenge. And um, how to describe this. Okay, yeah. Um, I sort of gave up on it and didn't, you know continue it but i went back um to look at some challenges and the decades challenge was listed among like the top 10 challenges out there for the sims so um and apparently it's been taken by someone else and they've they've modified it to to make it like a competition it was never meant to be like a competition but it was um yeah it, 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 it was just basically there for me to make a series out of on my other channel, which is now defunct. So you can't, you, well, you can go and see it, but you know. Um, so yeah, I figured I would do my decades challenge again. And um, so I've sent Archer back in time to the 1890s. Now, a few of the rules. In fact, let's send Archer home. Go home. No, don't go home with anyone. Um, that's frowned upon. Right, so here are the rules. 1890. Um, he can't get a job because the only way he knows how to get a job is by the phone and the phones aren't uh, permissible until at least, at least the beginning of next century. Um, if he wants to get married, he has to be friends with his wife's, well, his future wife's dad first. I don't actually know. I have like three potential women. Um, but yeah, you can see, and I've got like the poorer families down here. That's a potential wife, the wo the woman there. Um, I think there's a wife potentially in this area. Yeah, that that young woman over there is a potential. Um, and I think there's a posh one as well. Is there a posh one? Yeah, that 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 woman up there. I feel like um, yeah, he's he's not going to do it. Now the how do I put this? The challenge was, like I say, never meant to be, um, it was never meant to be more than a, a vehicle for me to do videos, so I did make up some rules. The rules will probably change because more expansion packs, etc. Um, so the first instance, he's basically living off the land, he's, um, he's got some money because, you know, his family was reasonably wealthy thanks to his mom so that's just what he had in his pocket um so he can build like a little starter home and i'm not i am going to make like just a little log cabin um he must be friends with his wife he can make money um using sort of like outdoorsy skills so like he can garden and he can um yeah it, that's basically it he can uh, he can do woodcraft. Um, I'm not going to make him paint because, you know, that's the thing. So he's going to be like a handiness skill kind of person. His goal is to get married and, and have, have a baby. And as soon as that child hits teenagerhood, that's when um, the 1900 decade starts. Um, I will link my original challenge. I'm going to probably deviate slightly from the original challenge. Um... But yeah, so so that's what we're starting with. All right, so welcome back to the house that that a sim made. 
let's just put everything up so of course we've got the outside loo we've got a little uh workbench so you can actually start making money i've just realized that the house possibly needs something dealing with the roof that's fine house was a lot bigger when i started as we go down as of course it's obviously a little log cabin he's got gas lanterns pretty much everywhere just to keep the lights on the he is off the grid so this is usable off the grid i believe uh let's have a look yeah functional while off the grid apparently all refrigerators are but i got a pantry style one anyway um old-fashioned looking counters just some stuff that he could make himself a little picnic hamper um a shower which is fun the, the cheapest shower which um is functional off the grid i was actually looking for a bathtub but you know what we have a shower and some other stuff so he is now officially off the grid so he needs to find a a wife b a way to make money um but he also has no sink so he can't actually wash his hands so uh archer is going to have some problems um, especially as we're not going to get plants anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, we've got roses. We don't got. We don't got food. We haven't got food. All right. So we're going to actually start by. He's only got forty-eight bucks. Craft a knife block. That is your job for today. If we need. Okay then. So yeah, we're going to get his hand in us up. Maybe make some money. Like some knife blocks. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I will just go... Th you can go and read the rules on the, the the sheet that I've got down below. The sheet, the thread. Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be problematic because he's going to... There's not a lot of fun to be had around. Um, I kind of want... It's, it's literally snapdragons and stuff. I might want to start... As soon as he can make a planter, I might want to make a planter. I'm not going to be really picky about selling objects. Um, ignore the people that are walking around in the background in modern clothes. There's only so much I can do. Um, everyone in a house actually has... We actually have a, a water system. Um, yeah. So we might go and visit some neighbours later. They have TVs. They shouldn't have TVs. I didn't go and change that. Um, but first we need to make money. And then we need to make food. Those those are the first things we need to do. Okay, the only thing that I can think of that he can do for fun is actually cloud gaze. Um, he might go introduce himself to the neighbours soon. Um, but I think he actually needs to make money. And then we'll worry about his social. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to err on the side of what is appropriate. Um, in this day and age. Because I don't think he's stupid leave a note for someone oh what actually are your aspirations um loves outdoors perfectionist domestic family oriented that will help that will help you're also going to have to cook yourself food so why can't you power doesn't work off the grid i know that cook with gas there we go make yourself some eggs and toast Go on, cook with some gas. That's what we have to do. Cook with blooming gas. So they're literally... Don't always use fresh ingredients. Okay, fine. So if I wanted to make a salad, I could I could, I could, could do so. Handiness level two. Can craft. Furniture at the woodworking... Oh, okay, furniture. Okay, well, you finish off your knife block and we will... Right yeah he's got can you smell gas right blimey uh locked door for everyone but household members apparently this is set as front door i don't know who you are but if you're not of the appropriate time period you're not coming in no 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 um you can use and you can take a quick and tepid shower can't do a bath i also want to get um clothes clothes washing um clothes washing 
or furniture. Right, a garden pot is what we want. But you know what? It is 11. You can have a quick and tepid shower and go to sleep. Okay, and then we're going to start buying gardening things. Level 2 of the cooking skill. Basically, as soon as he gets a wife in this day and age, I will be making them cook. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah, eat the food. Okay. It's going to be... It's going to be a problem, actually, because if only we can, we can only cook one meal at a time when we're cooking with gas, that seems... Illogical, but I suppose, you know, a huge amount of work. Okay, so craft furniture. Right, craft a garden pot. And then we can actually buy some plants. Alright, so we have a garden pot that he's just made. Purchase seeds. Start of vegetables. And let's... Oh, that's a lot of money. One packet is all we can afford. Um, and then we're going to sell this. All right, so let's plant some veg. Open that seed packet. We've got peas and peppers. Let's just do... Okay, go plant everything. obnoxious it's just obnoxious all right and then we're gonna go visit someone after he's watered those um i'm gonna go obviously to the ones of the people who have a wife because i've got to befriend their dad as well as them and get their romance up without you know okay so let's go for the poorest family because no one else will accept them. Um, it's you. I'm assuming this is your cousin or something. So that's where we go. Why is your hair off? You know, never mind. We're going to have problems with hair in this one. Let's just accept it now and move on our, our merry way. All right, here we are. Let's knock on the door. I mean, I guess you're her guardian. Who are you? I think this was made by a French YouTuber. And Bjork. Bjork. Maybe not a French one. Um, right, that's her. Emily Reed is the one that we're after. Um, right. Friendly. Friendly introduction. Hello, I am your neighbour. <laughs> ah, so... It's lovely to meet you. So, how has your day been? So, we're just going to be friendly. Oh, ask if a mermaid. Discuss your interests. And then we're just going to get to know this bloke, really. Not going to go cloud gazing until, like, at least the 60s. Um, talk about the cold temperature. I do actually need the toilet though. I am going to use that. I realise you have a TV, even though those don't exist at the moment. I'm sorry, I desperately need your toilet. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Let's, let's be friendly here. Okay, he's immediately gone to sit next to... Uh, boast about your non-existent family. Talk about handiness. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we're just going to be nice to this guy until he likes us. It's going to take a long time, I'm assuming. Although he does have his own house. Um, what's your career? You don't have one, do you? Um, do I have a get to know? Apparently not. That's weird. <laughs> Asked to move in. No, um, I don't think we are. Bro oh, brighten your day, because you are just generally a good person, really, aren't you? Uh, heartfelt compliment. Yeah, we're, we're getting to be actual friends now. And I feel like I've got to get his bar all the way up, or at least mostly all the way up. Um, 
Still no get to know. Clever, J. Boris. Deep conversation, however. No, I don't want to go into his... Deep conversations. And tell an engaging story. And then you're going to say goodbye. Oh, Emil is romantic. So it's Emil Bjork and Emily Reed. And Anne Bjork. Okay, right. Uh, again, people from the... Uh, Hiss, uh -huh. the, the things um, <laughs> what I feel might happen is before he, he'll get to know her a little bit and then he'll ask for his hand in marriage which is the ask to move in option actually no they need to get married first don't they um, another deep conversation and actually I'm going to say goodbye because I think I need to go and do some work goodbye no 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 say goodbye because actually you've got to... You know what? Let's just go home. Bye-bye. Go home. Stop looking at TV. It doesn't exist. Go home. Seriously. Oh, hey. My new friends come to visit. Hey, Emil. Friendly. How has your day been? Lovely to meet you. This is my house. It's not a lot, but it is mine. Let's discuss your interests. Um, uh, views about the outdoors. Oh, there's get to know. Let's get to know this guy. Okay. Yeah, we're very good friends. I do need to work, however, but you're welcome to stick around for a bit. Um, you know what? I'm just going to resume my garden planter after this, but we can still chat. Since you're here, what's this mobile phone that you are talking of? I do not understand these these technical terms. Yeah, what this in my pocket? Yes, it is a mobile phone. Um, I need to make another one of these. Sorry, dude. And I need to sell that one. Okay, I'm hoping to get enough to start making mirrors and get you know get some actual money coming in. There we go, we've got enough money for a mirror, but a meal's off now. Um, we will marry his cousin eventually, I'm sure, because she's there. There we go, 176 quid from a mirror, that's fine. We can maybe start sorting out improvements. And we'll make another planter so we can keep on buying. You know what, cook with gas, apparently it's literally just eggs and toast you can make. Okay, we've got some more plants. I am actually just going to sell the remainers. Um, some more plants to, to, to get growing. And that is a uh, set all harvest all. Maybe I wait a little bit longer. I mean, how actually harvest, harvest those green peas when you're done. Seriously? Is this how we're doing it? Okay, fine. Right, how many did you get? Seven. And they're worth 21 each. Okay, so if we sell all. There we go. Right, now we need to water all this lot because seriously. And my friend's gone. Poop. Oh well, I'm going to cloud gaze on my own because that makes sense. Just makes sense. Actually, telling jokes to my buddy who's just walked back, and um, that seems to be uh, giving me fun as well. So I'm just going to continue just being... F I'm just a funny, funny guy. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to now, um, after we've done this, I'm just going to cook some eggs and toast because that's apparently all I eat. All right. So we've got pea plants, etc., and carrots and stuff to grow that's something um how much is that just 12 like it's not much is it i mean well i guess it's like 90 quid a day that's not much um but we are going to continue crafting those mirrors apparently i'm just a mirror guy all right they're good friends um we're going to tell us an outrageous story. Yeah, we're just, just, we're a funny, 
funny guy. Um, yeah, have you considered the fact that um, I, I kind of want to date your niece? I mean, that's the thing. What do you want to do? Craft a mirror. I can do that. Make chocolate. I cannot do that. Okay. Are you just nipping to the toilet? You are nipping to the toilet. Oh, playing. Playing. We can do play. Play is good because that actually gets your... Oh, there we go. And now keep being friendly. All right. So I bought him a bookcase so he can actually, you know, read so he doesn't want to kill everyone. And he's just finishing some woodworking. His woodworking skills going up quite nicely. Um, and that's 250. Yeah, we're doing all right. No, 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 no. Stop arguing with me and go use the loo. And then take a shower. And then you can read a book. Just read anything. There you go. There it is. That's what I was after this whole time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Friendly. Become best friends. Now I can go after his, I guess, ward. Okay. Become best friends. Hey, we're best friends. So, deep conversation is the next thing. I kind of wanted to marry your cousin that lives with you. How do you feel about that? It's a big old world. And um, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. I will be around tomorrow. It's a deal. He said it himself. Um, and I'm, then I'm just going to um, get some leftovers. Go to the toilet. And he's going to read one of my books. And you know what? I'm going to take a shower this morning and then probably a shower in the mo in the afternoon. Because I've got a lot of romancing to do eventually. All right, Emil. Here we go. Knock on the door. <clears throat> okay. Friendly. Friendly introduction. I've never met you before, but I would like you to be my wife. From Okay, so how is uh, we're just going to get to know her and then we're going to start flirting with her because, you know, it's 1890. She doesn't really have a choice, but, you know, we want to be nice to her because she is, I have a great family. They are in the future, but, um, oh, deep conversation already. Okay, right, let's get to know her. I did roll at random roll the traits of these people in here. Squarble Tarbahe Barbie. Okay. Orbitak. Alright, handiness. She's creative. Okay, that's something I guess. A, a creative perfectionist. Right. So I'm very handy. And actually they're getting on quite well. To be honest. Heartfelt compliment. You're very nice. I, I was just looking for someone to carry on my jeans, but you know, I like the outdoors. And you're lovely. I am I'm going to admire you, and I'm going to compliment your appearance. And then I'm going to flirt. And then I'm going to do that until you love me. Because I can't kiss you. Okay, she's into it. I do not smell. <laughs> Compliment appearance and then just flirt. And that's what we're going to do until you like me. Oh, you sort of like me. Um, there we go. Right, everybody is sort of a run away. So he's going to take this moment to just kiss her. Sneakily. By rights, that was out of line. But I actually can't progress anymore um, until until that uh, and that works. Okay, so we can probably start doing the blowing a kiss thing because oh well, oh, oh, let's not let's not do that. Okay, he was he wasn't looking, so he's sort of doing it sneakily. Um, compliment appearance, yeah. Can I? I can kiss her hands probably, and I can give her flowers. So you know, it's not all uh, terrible. 
Tony. Um, he's gonna whisper at her. Yep, he's. He's into it. I don't know. Do I have to ask? His... Okay, you can be my girlfriend because we literally can't move anything else until I think that one's done. Okay, he's not gonna. Right, so... girlfriend, excellent. Uh... Right, she's... this is his girlfriend now. Um. Uh, he's not going to do anything. He's not going anywhere, and neither are you. We're doing very awkward encounter. No, I think they're actually into it. Teresa cheat. Okay. Not going to offer a massage. Hold hands. That's something. We're not wooing. Propose. Propose to her. She says yes. And we are going to. Oh. Okay. That's something. Why are you dressed like that? Do you have a, a job? Okay. So they're engaged. And then we're going to elope immediately. Elope immediately. Okay. She's into it. Very proper young lady. I will need to sort out all her outfits because she's not wearing that for the rest of her life. I mean, she will, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess this is... Okay, keep... Yeah. Right, there we go. Exchanging vows. I mean, it counts. It's there, so it counts. He's not very rich in the slightest, but it doesn't matter. And I don't think she's bringing any money into it. Excellent. Oh, this is just what I was after. Okay. All right, let's move in together. There we go. They are just moving in together. She is not bringing anything with them. There is no dowry or anything. All right. Now, here comes Operation 2. They're now married. They are husband and wife. I am going to make her change her name because it's just it's just the dumb thing in, in 1890. There we go. I've got her in some uh, snazzy new clothes. I th right, so she's got some like some all sorts of dresses uh, to, <laughs> to go with. Uh, her party look, her athletic look is just that dress. Her sleep look, I feel like I need to take those off. And all the accessories, there we go. And I think I need to get her hair down, actually. And because she's got some long, silky hair. And she's got no fringe. So it needs to be a very specific kind of hairstyle. I think that one is that. And then that's the only sort of semi-old school night dress cold weather no hot weather cold weather where she's got a coat and that's emily and she is a creative genius perfectionist it's not bad is it and first things first now there is no birth control until the 1960s every time you woohoo you must try for a baby that's unrealistic i admit so i might institute institute a one third rule for every time you woohoo with to try for a baby you can woohoo with twice without so but we are going to try for a baby because it's family and you gotta and i'm just uh checking the garden oh, something needs to evolve what needs to evolve something sparkling i don't know It'll sort itself out. But these two are going to try for a baby. Now, we cannot figure it out um, using a pregnancy test. They just have to accept it the way it is. So, yeah, they're going to woohoo together. Come on. In your own time. 
Right, you are not going to check. You're just going to use the toilet. Um, but that's fine. They are now officially husband and wife. You may now go and uh, harvest everything. Something wants to evolve. Something sparkling. Oh, that one. Evolve it. There we go. He's got all his peas and his carrots and stuff. Right, you take a shower. Oh, and then you can... Oh, and then eat that salad. Yeah, garden salad is the easiest thing to not mess up. Okay. Oh, she's got... She made herself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, well, I'm going to throw that away because you got out the good salad. All right. So, you are now officially the woman of the house. God, that feels really counterintuitive. All right, and on that note, I am going to call it an episode there. Oh, that's actually really cute. I didn't think they would, you know... They, they would actually be kind of in love, but they kind of are. So... I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been The Sims 4. Class dismissed.